Hello there, I'm Wannabe NPC, a content creator and a mental health advocate. And my goal for this channel is to bring you a cozy and comfortable space on the internet to de-stress. One great way to do that is to play cozy games like Chill Town. This game is currently in early access and needs a lot of improvements, but I do think that it will still be a game I reach for with its relaxing tunes, beautiful color palette, and gaming elements that fam feel familiar and comforting to me. If you end up trying this game, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my Kofi shop for free mental health goodies, or my favorite Amare supplements like Happy Juice that improve both gut health and mental health. So I wanted to make this video today because I had started this game on stream a while ago, but I actually ended up having to end the stream really quickly due to unexpected work calls that I really needed to attend to. So I barely got to show this game. So we're right in the beginning here and my character was just invited to go to a hotel because my house is not yet set up. So I am really excited to see where the game goes. So you'll see my character here taking a nap asleep and we moved into the next day. I think the NPCs in this game are quite adorable. I love their little faces. You'll see a lot of adults, but they have these faces that make them look really young and like children. So I find that kind of funny. And I think you'll find that this game is extremely similar to Animal Crossing in so many ways. And I'm also getting the feeling of Disney Dream Live Valley when I'm in this kitchen. So my character made her first omelette with just an egg. <laughs> I love the way Chill Town's world looks. I do think that, you know, some of the spots here, like the grocery store, really need an NPC in there, some kind of shopkeeper. Also, the price for a pot is absolutely insane. With that amount of gold, <laughs> or coins, or whatever the currency is actually called, I think one pot is insane. So. Here you'll see my house. I put it right near the beach. I didn't really have many options of where to put my house and so I said, you know what? I'm gonna have a little beach area that I could walk into. And I really liked meeting this NPC, Do, because you could just tell that he really loves his wife and I think that's absolutely adorable. Now what's really cool about Chill Town is that you can play this actively or on an idle mode where you can have auto fishing happen for you. I don't know how often I'll use that because I like the active fishing and it's probably my favorite part of most of the cozy games that I play, like in Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley. I just love fishing aspects. I'm not sure why because I don't really love it in real life, but it's probably one of my favorite actions to do in a game. see we're already getting into our crafting mode needing to find materials and use recipes so 
So this boy here was looking for a shovel and I was kind of surprised that I wasn't given a shovel recipe, but I actually have to go buy one. So I said, I better get fishing so that I could sell my fish. But we'll do that a little bit later in this video. I like that I'm not exactly cutting any trees down, at least not yet, but I'm just kind of using them to collect materials, which is nice that I don't have tree stumps to collect or worrying about any energy that I'm wasting and can't do other actions with. I love the mayor, he is just so cute and adorable with his little mustache and his baby face. <laughs> I also find it interesting how the town hall looks so professional and neat, but then you'll see a workbench in the corner that you think is in more of a construction area that might be a little bit less neat. So I found that to be a little bit of an odd placement there. And here you're kind of introduced to what in Animal Crossing is collecting nook miles. Here you'll have CP or certain kind of points or stamps that you gain as you proceed in the game and do different kinds of accomplishments. So I can really see the inspiration from Animal Crossing there. I do like the way you craft here. If you have enough materials, you can craft multiple items at once. And I think that is really helpful, and I wish that was implemented in Animal Crossing New Horizons instead of making one thing and then having to go back and make another one of that one thing instead of, you know, making duplicates. I love that fountain there in front of the town hall. So here I attempt to fish thinking that I could just fish at any point in the waters, but no, I finally find a shadow in the waters and I say, oh, that's how we fish. Which makes a whole lot more sense. But I know in some games you could just kind of throw your fishing rod into the water and see what you catch. But like in Animal Crossing, you go by the shadows that you see. Here I caught my first letter, which of course contains recipes and different things like that, and your letters will be saved in the game. So I really appreciated the little message from the game creators there. We have a bridge here that I'm guessing that we'll have to build. But thank you so much for watching. 